At first, the rescue boats for the Plum Island Life Saving Station were kept in a boathouse on the southwest shore of Plum Island near the rear range light. Later, they were moved to this side of the island, mainly because of the dangerous currents and surf often seen in Death's Door. For a time, the boats were actually housed inside the life saving station. If you look to the station building, you see four square windows in a line on the front of the building. Originally, this part of the building housed two boat bays, enclosed with two large garage type doors. But when the life saving station was modified and expanded in 1929, the rescue boats were moved outdoors. But a more permanent solution to the boat storage problem remained. And in 1938, the WPA approved the construction of this boathouse. Construction was started in May 1939 and completed the following September. This building is called a Roosevelt-type boathouse, named after President Franklin Roosevelt, whose federal relief program had funded its construction. Approximately 50 boathouses of this type were built along the Great Lakes and U.S. coastal waters, less than half of which remain standing today. This is the only remaining one in Wisconsin, and it's one of four such boathouses standing on Lake Michigan. The boathouse stands on reinforced concrete piers and has a concrete floor. Up to three rescue boats could be stored in this boathouse. They were launched from their storage cradles and retrieved into the boathouse using the gasoline-powered winch located near the south wall. One of the first projects funded by FAPI on Plum Island was the removal of lead-based paint from the exterior walls and repainting of the facility. FAPI volunteers have cleaned and organized the interior of the facility, and the boathouse serves as the welcome station for visitors to Plum Island. If the boathouse is open today, feel free to use our changing room if you want to take a dip in the water after your hike. Future projects for FAPI include the recovery of steel grates located underwater below the launch ramp and restoration of the launch ramp. FAPI and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service staff are searching for a period rescue boat and other rescue equipment for display in the boathouse. Now walk over to the three-panel information kiosk next to the life-saving station.